Hello, hello, good evening, good evening. We are live in Blackpool. Blackpool, not, not so. We buy the train station, not sure train station. Uh, today, we're going to show you the new development in Blackpool. This is the holiday in here, as you can see. That's the new holiday in, in Blackpool. Just opposite the train station. Blackpool North train station as you can see Here we are There's people running Look like they're trying There's um, people sat there Probably waiting, chilling Waiting for their time of a train And here we are That's the train station there So The new development here the Holiday Inn is just right next to the uh, train station so basically it's quite handy if you're traveling somewhere far I mean uh, you could just come off the train and the next thing you're in your hotel yeah have a quick shower get a bit fresh up and then uh, and then you're out in town this is just by the town center so this hotel here is quite handy if you don't want to go far it's quite handy to book in this hotel it's not like I'm promoting or they're paying me to promote this place I'm just showing the beauty of Blackpool in some bits some uh, the new transformation so the new look so this is it and that's the Sainsbury there that's a big Sainsbury so if you're out here in Blackpool if you're down here in Blackpool so you want to grab something quick it's like the supermarket over there Sainsbury just right opposite the uh, train station so this train station here is quite handy guys it's really handy it's right in the center of Blackpool so whereby you get all the night lights and everything so yeah not in promotion like I'm not being paid to promote anything I'm just showing the real fact the truth about Blackpool how things looks like the all are downfall is look at those people don't pick up their dog shit yeah that's one negative thing i'm really sorry i'm not a negative person but whatever we see that's what we bring to you people don't pick up their dog shit it's not good is it yeah no no <laughs> yeah he agreed with me so it's really not good so that is the new hood they're in that is the one plus one uh, plus one is is a is a plus for Blackpool having a new structural building like a new hotel quite handy right next to the right next to the train station let's move out of the way so it's quite handy having a hotel right next to the train station can you imagine though this uh, train station get reformed it's a small place it's you know it's not big it's not huge can you imagine though getting that reform like having the train station underneath and having a hotel above it what do you think you think that would be a great idea i know it's going to cost money though like, it's going to cost money so so why not the council think about that like transforming this train station underground you have like you have like you know the train and then above it then you have a massive hotel like something like this so it's quite handy this hotel here is a quite a handy place it's a handy location because uh at the end of the day you get like uh the tram the tram tracks coming up as well so it's like the hotel is in the middle it's in the middle so of a train station and a tram track so like there's like underpass here there's like underpass bridge you can use the underpass bridge instead of coming up these stairs and that as you can see kids are messing about there so that's the underpass but it's not yet open that underpass there that underpass bridge is not yet open so you can use that zebra crossing and go that underpass bridge that links you to the uh, uh, to the uh, tram track to the tram station that'll be like a tram station right behind that holiday inn okay and uh, yeah so let's cross the road now let's just cross the road and then we're gonna show you around. Let's show you around. This is like 
where everything is about uh, is around you know, everything is around here everything is around in this store around me there's people coming out of the shop people coming out shopping from Sainsbury and people going in shopping as well and that's the subway so this is it this is a better this is gonna be a better view like seeing that hotel getting the structure of the hotel so like what i'm gonna do let's see yeah just show you let me see if i can get a proper view standing up here and that's the gym there you got the gym right opposite there as well like i said this hotel here is handy it's right in the middle it's right in the heart of Blackpool, you know. This is not central part, you know. This is not central part of Blackpool. But it's like the town centre, it's in the middle. So here you get a connection if you are a night life or is where night out going person. So I'm not sure if this hotel will gonna be cheaper but it's quite handy if you stay here. If you stay in this hotel, you will not get a lot of hassle. You won't get a lot of hassle because you are right in uh, in the middle of everywhere, so you can be connected everywhere, basically. So yeah, this is Blackpool for you guys, African world traveller here, giving you an update how things looks like here in the evening in Blackpool. Oh, that guy got a ticket. Wow. What a, give him, wow. Can you imagine having kids and you don't get in control of the kids? Um, what a sort of a parenting we have here sometimes. So there's zebra crossing there man people cross there a lot and there's no zebra crossing so there's zebra crossing there i don't know why the council haven't put a zebra crossing there you know i don't know why so here we are african world traveler here so if you if it's the first time you're welcome to the channel we saw you here and there of blackpool and all over we go all over we travel to we don't only create contents in Blackpool, we do go beyond, we do go outside of Blackpool too. So let's go, let's go around and show you the development in Blackpool. People walking out in the gym, and that's a restaurant there, Marcos, it's Italian, New York Italian. People walking out there. It does get busy though in that gym, it does get busy. And that is a buffet place, uh, Mr. Basra. That's a buffet place. So guys, this content is about just showing you the new development in Blackpool. And that is the multi-million pound story building. It's the Talbot Gateway. Okay. Alright. Making a UE. Making a UE. Well done, guys. So here we are. This is the new development. This is the new development in Blackpool. It's a Talbot Gateway. So here we are. We had some contents before about this building when it first started. And this is how far they are. This is all glass, glass top. So now it's only the last floor there that haven't been glassed up yet. So here we are. So this is the Talbot Gateway building. And that is the Mr. Basfry Wall Cuisine. It's a buffet place. It used to be good. I'm not sure if it's still good, but yeah, it used to be really good. So you you can eat everything. 
just by uh, under 40 pounds it used to be like 30 something pounds it used to be cheap and it depends what time you come in the day as well so this is it this is the multi-million pound Togo getaway gateway yeah let's have a look so far so it's all almost the outfit is almost there so it's a different there from when they first started giving an update what's happening in Blackpool so the next we can try we could uh, we're gonna try and show you the the new cinema and the museum we'll try and cover that up as well for you guys the cinema and the museum in Blackpool so here we are if you go forward on this street is known with massage palace full of with massage palace guys because that is a tattoo unicorn but then follow down some of these buildings here they're, mass they're massage palace they call this street a red light <laughs> the red light the red light of blackpool <laughs> this is a red light of blackpool this street here on my left yeah so it's a delivery going on i'm gonna go in there in a minute got a bit of shopping just let me just take you around just a little bit and that's the tower there as you can see that's the Blackpool Tower we'll see on our way back if we can go that way and show you the tower and the promenade the front let's just take you around here take you a bit that's a nice map yeah probably feel map oh. you don't want the council to find you there bro Maybe he's making a use of this palace here. <laughs> Maybe he's getting a service. <laughs> All right, so that's the tower models. If you go further down, that's when you get all these massage palace, the peach, <laughs> and all that, etc. and etc. Having a bit of a breakdown here. Something not going right. So, guys, this is just a quick one giving you an update of the development. What's going on? There's a Brooklyn Body Therapy Studio, 52 Coxing Street. Okay. Under new management. You see? Staff wanted under new management. <laughs> See, the lights are on it's open that's open there yeah and there's another one there too see those are open there too see it says open yeah oh somebody must somebody haven't had a good service smash that window in man <laughs> maybe he hasn't had a happy ending <laughs> they just smashed the window in i'm joking guys it might be just a, a drunk on the street Magaluf, <laughs> Magaluf, <laughs> right. This is how it looks, guys. So it's all the way at this end, man. So you get the massage palace all the way at this end. Some of this here, there are two. So guys, and that's Istanbul barbers, a Turkish barbing salon. That place has been boarded out, man. It's like some good thing going on, some work going on. That's a council out there. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching African World Traveler. So, we're gonna end this video here till next time. We shall see you on the next video. Thanks, kid. Thank you, guys. Have a great evening. Bye bye.